Morning, everybody. Oh, what a gorgeous, gorgeous morning. So I got dressed up. I don't know if you can tell. I might show you later. But I want to go out and check on the garden and go in and have me a nice cup of coffee. So two reasons why I dressed up today. So I got to go to the doctor and I just needed a relaxed day, a day just to sit with my feet up or sit outside on the porch and just enjoy myself until it was time to go to the doctor. Today I find out what all those scans read. So I'll get those test results. Well it's been a week since you saw the garden. My next big task is to take this netting off and harvest out of there what I can. Because look at this, I'm kind of sad. My broccoli has gone to flower. So I want to get in there and see if there's any that I can harvest because I sure would like to get a broccoli out of that. Look how much my zucchini has grown, you guys. I came out yesterday and did a little bit of work, got it tied up, and now it's time just to let them come out wherever they want, you know, above that point. Last year, my yellow squash loved this area, and I didn't get any zucchini that I had planted on the first bed, so I'm pretty glad that the, the zucchini likes where it's at. So right next to that is the green beans. In just a week's time, since it dried up, it uh, has really just taken off, and I've got lots of flowers on my green beans. And I need to weed that out back there. Goodness. I'm going to quit showing you that part because I never get it done. <laughs> Those of you that watched last Thursday know that this tomato plant was completely bald. Now look at it. It's actually growing sprouts. So I'm glad I didn't dig it up and pull it out of the ground when it was so bare. I just left it there. So we'll see if that does anything. I did come out yesterday and tie up those tomato plants. Nasturtiums. One week. <laughs> I just can't believe it. Everything just looks so beautiful. And look at the acorn. The acorn is trailing. I'm so glad. It's going to do really well there. There's two of the cucumbers that I planted early on that I really didn't have any hope for, but <laughs> look at them grow. The peppermint I did take down just a little bit, not as much as I wanted, but I'll get out here and get that almost to the ground again. My sunflower and tobacco and basket flower are all doing great. And I had some potatoes pop up out of the dirt out there. Finally got them in the ground. There's them volunteer, whatever they are. Some kind of squash or melon, I'm sure. And like I said before, I I really do believe that volunteer is an atomic grape cherry tomato. 
And I wanted to show you my lilies all bloomed out. Whew. <laughs> I did exactly what you guys saw. I just walked around just a little bit. That sun is really bright. And I'm already working up a sweat. So I'm going to get in before I get all stinky. But I wanted to tell you about the lilies. They're not near as bright as that first bloom that I took and I showed you guys, but they're still pretty. All right, time to go sit on the porch and have some coffee. Just a quick overview of my garden. Okay, I'll do a quick runway walk so you can see my dress. I sure had a lot of fun making my dress and making my brother's shirts so that we all kind of match a little bit to show you what I've been doing for three days. <laughs> 80 in the morning. Ugh. I wonder what it's going to be this evening or this afternoon. Okay, the trip to the doctor is over with and we're at home and I forgot to turn the air conditioner on and it is hot in the house. It's 93 degrees outside. Well, anyway, uh, not too bad news really at the doctor's. The scan showed on my liver that I had some fatty spots there and it could or could not be um, cirrhosis. So they want me to go see a GI specialist. They want me to go see a GI specialist and see what he says, maybe get some further testing. Uh, the blood test that they took, I don't know. She said something about some inflammation markers or something, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, she did explain all of it. Nothing sounded really serious or, you know, nothing life-threatening anyway. And she wanted me to go ahead and give some more blood. And uh, so I agreed to that. They took seven vials of blood, okay? Uh, they wanna check, which I thought they already did for lupus and arthritis. Uh, they wanna do another inflammation marker to see if they can direct that as a cause of the liver enzymes, the reason why they, why they, why, bleh, I can't even talk the reason why they are high but she says some people just have inflammation in their body and they never do find out what the cause of it is <laughs> so anyway uh, also she wanted to do one uh, cancer marker and uh, so if all that comes out uh, negative then everything's okay there it's almost like they're looking for something to be there that's not there so anyway, I did agree to go see the GI specialist sometime. Uh, I did talk to them about diet. Change arms here. I did talk to them about diet and you know how she believes that uh, food and herbs can uh, heal your body. And food is definitely something that can heal, but it's not real regulated by the client. Well, I'm the client. <laughs> And I've been doing very well for two weeks. Actually lost 10 pounds. And so uh, I'll be on that journey with you guys. And uh, so you guys uh, just uh, hooray me on. <laughs> say a little cheers for me and say some prayers for me as well. So I did have some anxiety a little bit. Um, a little bitty spots of anxiety about what maybe the test would show. But uh, you know what? Most anxiety is just wasted time. Uh, time that you can be doing something else and enjoying yourself uh, rather than just being in anxiety. Now I do know that uh, anxiety and depression are real things because I uh, I deal with both of those. So anyway, but I wanted to let you know <laughs> about the liver scan and I asked her, which I had to go see a nurse practitioner, I asked her about 
well, what about all the other things they checked for? And uh, evidently there was nothing noted, so there was nothing to be said. Those other organs are just fine. So until next time, you guys, go out and enjoy life. <laughs> See you again.